We can create databases with QuickBase. In fact, QuickBase is really an online web database. And you can create flat databases and relational databases. You can do that by importing your data from something as simple as an Excel spreadsheet here, right clicking and pasting the information, or actually browsing the information and importing it that way from a file. But what I'd like to do really is to create one from a database style itself. This is from scratch without having a spreadsheet or a database to start off with. We're going to use a database style and let's call this Acme uh, Contacts. And let's say Acme Contact Manager. Now we have other applications already created for you, but sometimes you like to be able to create a multi-table application just for your own use. Let's call these Contacts. We'll add another table, which is activities. And now let's define the information in each one of these tables. How about something like name is, if I drop down this box, you can see there's many different types of things that you can use. I'm going to say text company is also text. I may say uh, address is text city is text state is a multiple choice drop down box because we have many states we want to select from and zip might be text and I'll do phone and which is phone and I'll do email and we can continue on but this is all we'll add right now so we have defined what the first table is let's define what the second table is and it might be a type of activity which is a multiple choice and then the we want a description of what it is that we're keeping track of so that's going to be text and at this point uh, you might say well what about the date and who did it well, that'll take care of itself here in just a second because there's some built-in fields that are automatically created. Now, you don't have to worry about key fields or things like that because QuickBase is automatically creating them for you here. But let's add the relationship that ties the two together. Now, you can see this little less than symbol up above here is really a way of graphically depicting that contacts have many activities. And I'm going to click Done down here. And that's all we have to do to create a relational database inside of QuickBase. In fact, let's add a contact, in which case we will say this is for Acme um, Company. Um, actually, let's call this David Lewis. And the company is the uh, Journal Transcript. And it's at 123 Central street in Franklin and notice that the drop down box is blank right now we didn't define what that was but we will in just a second let's go 01234 as a zip code and it is 800 555 is the phone number and it's uh, d lewis at example.com now notice that there's already a table here where we can add activities here too, so which we'll do that in just a second. But the first thing I want to do is really come up to the states and just show you that you can right click over any of the information here and edit it. Now in editing it, it allows us to look at the properties of this and we can put here, oh let's say Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Connecticut, New York, that kind of thing. In fact, we can let it grow automatically all by itself. I'm going to say save and this allows us then to edit this and come up and click on state and make a selection maybe it's Franklin Massachusetts and then save now I'm gonna say let's add an activity now it's gonna ask us to save the record which is great but look what else it does it, it automatically creates another record and we can now define what type is right click and edit what the type is down below here we haven't defined what these are yet but it might be we left a voicemail it might be a note it might be we spoke live and it might be an email because QuickBase you can use for emailing as well I'm gonna let people create more things as we go so here we are back at that contact record here and we're looking at David Lewis and the type is a voicemail 
um, called and left number for callback. We're just recording this that we left them a voicemail. Now this is the first activity against this contact. So you can see now that we have one activity. We'll add another activity here, in which case we may speak live. We to meet on Friday at 10 a.m. and say save. So now we're continuing to add more and more types of contacts into this contact record. So we have all this historical record here. Now underneath each of these areas we have list all, we have activities, uh, list all, and these are reports and you can create many types of reports here on the fly. But the dashboard reflects here that we have a contact record here. We could also customize this dashboard and look at different reports that are on here. Right now there's a uh, block at the top is informational. We can blow that away. We've got contacts here. Let's put activities. We'll create a new report and this one will be for list all the activities. And if I wanted to I can grab these and just change the order of them so that the contacts are on the top and the activities are down below. And we can call this anything we want. We'll call this um, ACME um, activity uh, uh, dashboard and save. Now what we have is a list of all of the contacts we have as well as the activities here on a dashboard with a relational database.